as I film this majestic scenery from the top of this mountain. It brings words to my mind of the famous John Muir who wrote, Everybody needs beauty as well as bread, place to play in and pray in, where nature may heal and give strength to the body and soul. Most hunter and outdoor lover tends to find strength in the woods and rekindle their soul through their hunt. We begin our first day morning hunt following this trail up to the top of this mountain. There's quite a few hoop prints, big, huge one too. It's midday, so I made my round back to where my sign is at. I went beyond the mountain to the ledge. From there, no man has gone except for animal. It was too steep, so I turned around and came back. to go back to our station so I'm gonna climb this row here this fire preventing row, uh, row here or dirt row here or trail here all the way to the top and on the very top they call it cow peak it does not look like it's steep but it is steep it's a pretty good incline
hide this ridge. sitting on this pile of logs with my blind surrounding me since three o'clock. This is where the trail is. The trail going this way, trail going this way, trail coming this way, trail coming the other way. They all converge in this point right here. We call it a choke point. My son is <clears throat> about a mile down. If it's not happening, in the next couple hours, it may not happen. But we're gonna continue to have finger cross, high hope, and hopefully uh, a bear or a buck came by and we'd be able to tag it. This little squirrel here is the king of the wood pile. It's 4 a.m. in the morning and we're on this ledge getting up early for the first light looking back to the, to the valley floor yeah I think that's Mariposa down here Merced what the glow is that I'm trying to see if we can get, make it happen today you can see the moon and the little planet next to the moon wherever that planet is or a star planet we work hard we're not lazy people. We hunker mountains and trails and set in a wonderful for hours and to have day. It's just not happening, but nevertheless, it was great. Dawn break and we sat by the watering hole with great anticipation. But no buck or bear that qualify showed up. here and down a squirrel. Unfortunately I had to shoot it three times. There's something wrong with my shooting skill. time to kill something. Let it put it down. Huh? Don't 
No fall. All right. Finally, we get to shoot something. We, we down something. <laughs> Three days. A tree rat. Tree rat. Hey. Second squirrel for the day. So far, no deer or no no buck. And today yeah. is Sunday at noon, and uh, we hunt as fast as we could. Uh, we set a water hole. We went up mount the mountain. We went on the ledge. We spot. We did all that we can, but the animal just not cooperating. So we're gonna conclude. We're gonna go back to camp. Have a little lunch, clean our gear, and remove our camera and go back home. It's been fun. This is the first time where my son and I were actually out here really uh, camp out and do a deer camp. Yeah, it was it was fun. So, uh, so after a while, there's no big game. So I start going after a little game, and I was successful. Uh, got a few squirrel limit out, and then my son also have uh, a few squirrel. He also almost limit out too. I limit out. He almost limit out. So it's not, we don't see the animal, we saw bear, but they're too fast, they're not qualified to shoot. And the deer, it just, just don't see the buck that we want to shoot. So until then, uh, this concludes the deer camp season of 2022. If I'm going to go back again, it may not be a camp anymore. It could just, it might be a day hunt. So anyway, thank you and peace out.